Hi everybody, I'm Kathy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm sharing my Sephora VIB Spring 2019 wish list. I didn't really plan on buying a whole lot during the VIB sale, but the more that I watch other people's videos and uh, keep perusing the website, my list is rapidly growing. So I've divided it into two sections. The first section are things that I would definitely like to try and probably will buy. And the other section are things that have been sitting in my wish list for quite some time and I'm on the fence about them. And I was uh, kind of hoping if maybe you have used them, you could give me your opinion and let me know if they're worth trying or not. Of course, I'm not gonna buy everything on my list, but if money was no object, um, you know, who knows, maybe I would. And before I get started, you may hear a dog barking. This is a new filming location I'm trying in the apartment and there are two huge dogs below us and they just bark all day and they're really annoying. So the first thing that I definitely wanna try is by First Aid Beauty and it's their facial radiance pads. And they have supposedly the right mixture of lactic and glycolic acids and they're safe to use every day. And I do use a glycolic acid probably about four times a week. And that just helps to keep your face looking nice and radiant and fresh and get rid of any, um, you know, dullness or um, dead skin hanging around on your face. The next thing is the Pharmacy Cleansing Balm. I had received a little sample of it and absolutely fell in love with it. The only other cleanse, cleansing balm that I have used is by It Cosmetics and I'm actually on my second container of it. But I find that the second container, when I use it, I get a lot of white cast that just stays on my face and I didn't experience that the first time. So I don't know if it's just a dud that I got, but I'm not liking it. And I also find that whenever I use it to uh, clean off my eyelids, that sometimes it will leave a film on my eyes and it's uh, very strange. I did not experience that when I was using the Pharmacy Cleansing Balm. And the Pharmacy Cleansing Balm also has a really nice scent to it. So I definitely want to pick that up. The next thing is the Kerastase East Elixir Hair Oil Serum. I do use currently a serum by Lanza. I've uh, showed it to you a few times and I'm running out of it. And I've heard good things about the Kerastase. I'm not sure. I'm probably not saying that right. But I want to give it a try. It's pretty pricey so I thought that uh, this would be a good opportunity. I have heard that Rouge members are getting 20% off which uh, I don't think we had before in the spring sale is usually uh, safe for the fall. Something else that I didn't plan on buying but I'm going to because during the move I have somehow lost my fingernail clippers and it's driving me nuts. I don't really wear my fingernails long but to me this is long. I like them nice and short and um, I saw that they had a nice uh, deluxe nail kit by Sephora. I think it comes with maybe five tools, two of which are clippers, one for the fingernails, one for the toenails, and um, I think some different cuticle tools. I think it's $25, so with 20% off, uh, I'll save a few bucks and I'll be able to uh, clip my nails. Now I need my head examined <laughs> because you know I'm not really an eyeshadow palette person, but currently I have two new eyeshadow palettes sitting in my cart and they are both um, very basic, very neutral eyeshadow palettes, but that's who I am. I don't like anything too flashy. And the first one is by Viseart. It's a Viseart Theory eyeshadow palette and in the color cashmere. It just looks really, really pretty. And uh, everybody swears by Viseart. They say that the uh, eyeshadows are very creamy and they go on very butter-like. So I think I'm going to bite the bullet and try that. The second palette that I have, I'm kind of on the fence about and I've never tried anything by Smashbox and it is the Smashbox cover shop palette and it is in matte. To me, it's uh, similar to the eye look that I have on today. The palette that I used today was actually a palette I bought last fall in the VIB sale and it's by Too Faced Natural Matte. And those are kind of the types of palettes that I gravitate towards. So I'll let you know if I end up picking up both of those. 
And my friend Justine uh, reminded me that I need to buy some Clarisonic replacement brush heads. Those things are so darn expensive. So I found a two pack uh, for $50. So if I'm getting 20% off, it's going to cost $40, basically $20 a br uh, brush head. Because in Canada, the brush heads are normally $30 each. So that's a good savings there. And I don't use my Clarisonic all that often. So I think two brushes will probably last me like a year. And I have to decide between these next two products. The first one is Kiehl Super Fluid Daily UV Defense Sunscreen Broad Spectrum with an SPF 50 plus. And the next one is Lancome Bienfait Facial Sunscreen SPF 50. Have you tried either of these? And if you have, could you please let me know in the comments your opinion of them? I have to get better at wearing facial sunscreen. I, uh, I'm very, very negligent at doing that. And that's something that I have to work on. And I have read good things about both of these products. I don't like anything that um, feels like it's on my skin. And a lot of the uh, foundations that I wear do not have sunscreen in them. Because my favorite foundation to wear currently is the Powder Foundation by It Cosmetics. And it does not have an SPF in it. So I've heard that uh, both of these do not give a white cast on the face and they work very nicely under makeup. So like I said, if you have used either of these, could you please let me know because I need to make a decision on which one I want to try. And no, I do not like the Cosmetic CC Cream. I, I know that's quite surprising because I'm a knit girl, but I just don't like how it looks on me. I do have a tube of it. And I think I'm going to pass it on to my mom because I just never reach for it. I just find it's a bit too thick. So that is the end of my list for the things that I'm definitely probably going to buy. And now we'll start in with the things that I'm sort of on the fence about would like to buy if, um, you know, money was no object. And uh, let me know if you have tried any of these. I love Sunday Riley and I'm currently on the hunt for a new vitamin C. So I saw the Sunday Riley Glow CEO Vitamin C with turmeric face oil. It's really expensive. I, I didn't mark the price down on my list, but it's pretty darn expensive. I probably won't get it this time, but I'll probably wait for the fall to get it because I am uh, trying to use up some little samples that I have. Um, so if you have tried that, please let me know. Another one that uh, just caught my eye is by Lise Watsche and it is her sunscreen with an SPF of 30 and supposedly it is a primer and an SPF all in one and Elise Watsi does make good products. I have not tried any of her products but I have friends that have used them and they swear by them. I love to mask. Sephora has a Sephora Favorites 12 Days of Masking Kit. I'm a little intrigued by that because there are some nice generous sample sizes in there, one of which is by Glam Glow, and I have not tried any of their masks. Um, I really have gotten into sleeping masks, and I really like the one by Laneige and Caudalie. They have a very nice sleeping mask. Now, something that kind of is getting, has gotten mixed reviews uh, here on YouTube is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Concealer. I know that people complain there's not a lot of product in it, but I'm just curious. I do like some of her products and I would like to try it, but it's probably gonna stay in my wish list until the fall. Another one that I wanted to try was by Bobbi Brown and it is her extra lip tint and it was in two separate colors. One was raspberry and the other I think was uh, something like pink. Um, it's a pink lemonade or pink something. Will I buy it? Probably not because you know that I am a lip product addict. Do I need any more lip balms or glosses? No. I really need to count my stash. I probably have like 40 or 50 of them. But they're just so darn uh, enticing to me. I just, I love a lip tint or a lip gloss. I have another eyeshadow palette that's been in my uh, wish cart. My wish cart. My wish, my wish list cart for a while. And it's by Marc Jacobs, and it is the Provocateur eyeshadow palette. The colors, um, they just speak to me. They're like nice light pinks. There's a few little uh, purples and mauves in there. 
the packaging is really what speaks to me. It's a, a long, thin package, and um, you know, I'm a sucker for the packaging always gets me. I really need to do one of those videos. Another thing that's been sitting in my cart is by Dry Bar, and it's their hair clips, but I don't think that I need them right now because I just got my hair all cut off for summer. Pharmacy has a Honey Glow AHA Night Serum. That's been in my uh, wish list for a while. I'm curious to try it, but do I need another night serum right now? Probably not because I'm really happy with uh, where my skincare is at the moment. So I'll probably uh, maybe wait till the fall for that. The Cinema Secrets Brush Cleaner, it's really expensive. I think it's just under $60. Uh, I'm probably not going to buy it, but I would like to try it in the future. I wish I could get a sample of it first to try because currently I'm using the Beauty Blender, uh, the Pro Size Cleanser. It's a great big black one. I love it. I swear by it. Something that I tried a while ago in store in Sephora was their Too Faced Peach Foundation, and I really liked it. I thought that it uh, really looked good on my skin. It didn't look cakey a lot of times. Um, I have that problem with foundations, but I really did like that one. And if I remember correctly, it had a nice scent to it. I have tried quite a few Caudalie products in the last few months, and I really, really like them. And I'm intrigued by her instant foaming cleanser, but I don't think I'm gonna buy it because I'm pretty sure I have a sample of it somewhere in my stash and I just want to try and use up those samples first. Now this is uh, something that I saw in somebody's video like a year ago and once we get settled it's something that I definitely want to look into and it is the Vitruvi Stone Diffuser. I love essential oils. I love they just make the house smell so nice. But I do have to do some research because I know some essential oils are toxic to cats. I'm not sure which ones, but uh, I love to use essential oils. I often use lavender, peppermint for when I have migraines. Um, they just help to take the edge off and uh, it's be to me it's better than popping a pill. You know I'm a sucker for perfume. I love perfume and there are two by Miss Dior. Um, one of which I already have in a full size, but I thought these would be handy for in my purse or if I ever go on a trip, which I wish I could go on one right now, but uh, it's not gonna happen with building the house. But they're both roller balls, and one is a Miss Your Absolutely Blooming Roller Ball, and the other is a Miss Your Blooming Bouquet Roller Ball. They're pretty pricey too, they're $49 each Canadian. I have a Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation that I'm curious to try, but I'm not going to buy it because I just wanna work my way through all the foundations that I have. I've got to do a video on the foundations that I have. It's getting ridiculous. Um, I certainly don't need to add to it. I need to declutter. I would like to try the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Currently, I think it was out of stock whenever I... No, that was something else by Laneige that I wanted to try a lip balm. I do want to try the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask because I do like the Laneige Water Face Mask that stuff is wonderful and if you suffer with dry skin I highly recommend it because it turned my face around in literally uh, 24 hours it's it's really wonderful stuff Too Faced has a little um, set called the Too Faced is my life set it's deluxe sample sizes I thought it was kind of interesting because it has uh, the mascara that I like and I think it has a primer and a few other little things and the last thing that's been sitting in my cart for a while, I'm not going to buy it now, but I probably will at some point, is by Laura Mercier, and it's her Candle Glow Perfecting Powder. Everybody swears that uh, it looks particularly nice on skin um, when you're over 50, which I am, and I'm just intrigued by it, and it just, it looks really nice. Now, I'll let you know some information about the sale. The VIB Rouge sale begins April 26th until May the 6th, and you get 20% off. VIBs, your sale starts May 2nd, May 6th, and you get 15% off. And the Beauty Insider starts May 2nd to May 6th, and it's 10% off. So I will put my list and the sale dates and the percentage offs all in the description box. I would love it if you left me any comments on any of the products that I have mentioned, if you've tried any of them. 
if you think that I would or would not like them and um, if there's any products that you think that I should be looking at uh, picking up. And I'd also like your feedback on this filming space. Do you prefer it here or do you prefer where I was doing it in the living room where I thought it was uh, darker? Let me know your, your feedback, please. Uh, I'm limited with where I can film at this place. There just is not the space, but I'm trying to do my best to keep bringing you videos. And if you're new to my channel and haven't subscribed, I sure would love it if you did. I appreciate each and every one of my subscribers. I consider you my friends. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.